Assalamu alaikum, my brothers and sisters. Peace be upon you. Welcome to Minutes to Paradise. In Islam, black magic known as seer is considered a grave sin and is strictly prohibited. It involves the use of supernatural powers for evil and harmful purposes, often to manipulate or harm others. Islam emphasizes the belief in the unseen and the existence of supernatural forces, including the ability of some individuals to perform acts of magic. However, Islam also teaches that such practices are forbidden and are to be avoided at all costs. The Quran and the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, provide guidance on how to protect oneself from the effects of black magic. This includes seeking refuge in Allah, reciting certain verses from the Quran, and performing acts of worship and obedience. It is also important for Muslims to seek knowledge and understanding of their faith to recognize and avoid practices that are prohibited in Islam. The Quran and the Hadith contain several references to magic and its prohibition in Islam. Here are some relevant verses and Hadith, Quranic verses, Surah Al-Baqarah 2102, and they followed instead what the devils had recited during the reign of Solomon. It was not Solomon who disbelieved, but the devils disbelieved, teaching people magic and that which was revealed to the two angels at Babylon, Harut and Marut. But the two angels do not teach anyone unless they say, we are a trial, so do not disbelieve by practicing magic. And yet they learn from them that by which they cause separation between a man and his wife, but they do not harm anyone through it except by permission of Allah. And the people learn what harms them and does not benefit them. But the children of Israel certainly knew that whoever purchased the magic would not have in the hereafter any share. And wretched is that for which they sold themselves if they only knew. This verse talks about the story of Prophet Solomon, peace be upon him, and how some people practiced magic during his time. It mentions that the devils taught people magic, which led to harm and caused discord between people, such as separating husband and wife. However, the verse emphasizes that magic has no real power, except by the permission of Allah. The verse also highlights that those who engage in magic for worldly gains will have no share in the hereafter, indicating the severe prohibition of magic in Islam. Hadith Narrated Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her. Magic was worked on Allah's messenger, peace be upon him, so that he used to think that he had done something while he had not. Then one day he said, O oh, Aisha, do you know that Allah has instructed me concerning the matter I asked him about? Two men came to me and one of them sat near my head and the other near my feet. The one near my head asked the other, What is wrong with this man? The latter replied that he is under the effect of magic. The first one asked, Who has worked magic on him? The other replied, Labid bin al-Asam, a man from Bani Zuraik who was an ally of the Jews and was a hypocrite. He instigated a man to put the spell. Sahih al-Bukhari. This hadith mentions an incident where someone used magic on the Prophet, peace be upon him. The magic was so strong that it made the Prophet, peace be upon him, believe he was doing something he did not actually do. This hadith illustrates that even the Prophet, peace be upon him, was not immune to the effects of magic, highlighting the seriousness of this forbidden act. Abu Huraira reported Allah's messenger, peace be upon him, as saying, Avoid the seven noxious things. It was said by the hearers. What are they, messenger of Allah? He, the holy prophet, replied, Associating anything with Allah, magic, killing of one whom God has declared inviolate, without a just cause, consuming the property of an orphan, and consuming of usury, turning back when the army advances, and slandering chaste women who are believers, but unwary. Sahih Muslim. These references emphasize the seriousness of magic in Islam and the need for believers to stay away from such practices. Instead, Muslims are encouraged to seek protection in Allah and follow the teachings of Islam to safeguard themselves from harm. May Allah guide us and protect us from evil and magic. Ameen.